Hey Geeks, Tim with MajorGeeks.com. Today we're trying to look at how to fix slow internet on Windows 10. Actually might work on 8 and 7 in most cases as well. First thing you want to do is know what your speed is. Go to speedtest.net, click the go button, and if you're not sure of the first run, do it again. Make sure everything's closed in the background, no running apps, etc. Anything down here in your tray that's running, close it so that you know you're getting the best speed. We're going to start with an interesting couple of ones that most people have never heard of, just to check. One of them is bandwidth allocation, and this is pretty widely debated on the internet, but by default, you have bandwidth limits, and that is for quality of service, for example, Windows updates, different stuff like that. A lot of people like to limit it, so let's go ahead and take a quick look at that. Press the Windows key plus R and type in gpedit.msc if you are a Windows 10 home user. Follow these steps right here, which just requires you download a batch file and run it through PowerShell, and you can enable it. Because with Registry Editor and Group Policy, the next couple steps can actually work differently, so Group Policy Editor is better. So if you have Windows 10 Home, enable it, please. Click OK. And we're going to go here to Computer Configuration, see if I can remember. Administrative Templates, Network, and it should be... QOS packet scheduler. Now you're looking for limit reservable bandwidth. Not configured to enabled. Your default is 80. Almost everybody in the world says zero. I'm not a fan. Go ahead and do zero if you want. I'm going to do five. I'm going to leave a little bit of bandwidth there for quality of service updates. And you can click apply. And usually just clicking OK will work. And just to verify, yeah. So there you go, and go ahead and close that out. And once again, Microsoft has a statement on how that works. It's right here. And as you can see, they're saying, when you limit the reservable bandwidth of the operating system to zero, this could affect the operating system, including Windows updates. So in my humble opinion, setting it to zero is not smart. Leave a little bit of wiggle room there. Let's move on. Auto-tuning. A lot of people don't know about it. Came back in Windows Vista. It's supposed to automatically improve performance for programs, but let's make sure it's working. That's all. It's a simple little thing. Highlight this. Run PowerShell as admin. I would do Windows key plus X. And you actually don't need to run it as admin, I don't think, for this, but I run by it as admin by default. And copy paste that code I just showed you and press enter. And you're looking for this right here. Receive window auto tuning level normal. And there it is. Now, if it's not normal and it comes up as disabled, you can highlight this right here. Right click copy, and as you can see, control V to paste and enter. And OK. Go ahead and close that out. Now, let's talk about where your bandwidth's going. It's not all that unusual to be sitting there trying to figure out why everything's slowing down. You could have a background process. So, let's do control alt delete and click on task manager show more details if it's not already and now you can see your processes and if you don't see it scroll over so you can see network this is what you're looking for and of course obviously I'm not using too much but you want to make sure you're looking for what is using the space and the bandwidth up so you know you can see memory as well but for example since I'm not doing anything I'll just quick refresh this and you can see where it's using a little bit of network here. So if you start seeing something stand out where you, it's using a ton of your networking space, you can, might want to start looking into maybe something down here that's running in startup. If you have Sequeen or use your startup manager, there's a good chance something's running in the background. And whatever that is could be using up your bandwidth, causing you your problem. So once again, that's individual to each and every person. So that's up to you to figure out what's using your network. So that's an interesting way of freeing up some bandwidth. Of course, there's your router. A lot of them are pre-configured sometimes to limit bandwidth. This isn't a router guide, but if you Google your router name, you can find out how to log into your router and make sure that there aren't limited bandwidth. For example, you might even actually find the bandwidth allocation in your router as well. And it doesn't hurt to just poke around. You don't have to change anything if you're not familiar with your router. You can look around and just look for anything that's limited, time schedules. For the most part, 
it should be okay. Most of your routers and Windows 10 are configured for high speed, always on bandwidth anyway. I've had situations where I've had to return my router if I couldn't figure out anything else. Return your router, get another one. Assuming, of course, that you're on broadband like we are down here with Spectrum or one of the big companies where you can just take your router and return it. All right, where are we? Oh, drivers. This is a whole section. And it's Tech Support 101, so I guess it should have been step number one. But we have a complete guide with a video on how to download the latest drivers because there's Windows updates, which I'm not a fan of, third-party apps, which people like. So basically what happens is Windows updates probably the slowest. Most of the third-party apps are really close to newest. And, of course, if it's a network problem, find your network card, or you might be able to even come over here to drivers on Major Geeks, driver specific, and for example, you can find your Intel, which is probably one of the biggest network cards out there. Yep. And Intel graphics, graphics, graphics. So we've network adapter for Windows 10, covers most of them, Windows 7, Windows 8, Vista. For example, that should work for most of you. Just look and see which card you need. So that's really a good way to go to is if we're talking about just networking, find out your network card, get the latest driver just for that and see if that helps. Now, third party tweakers, another cool thing, speedguide.net TCP optimizer. Very cool program. We've been using this for as long as Major Geeks has been around. Basically, it's pretty hardcore. There's a video here. I mean, just looking at the slightly blurry preview, it is as hardcore as you want it to be, but what it does have, and follow the video, it has presets. So you can just go and do presets optimal and see if that fixes your connection. Once again, as we mentioned, now go back and do a speed test. And if you change your mind later, it's a pretty safe program. You don't really need too much of a backup, but you can back up in the program. And then you can actually just go into back to the, the default settings that's up to you but it's pretty safe to run and there isn't too much you can go wrong with that so and that covers you know the basics there's a billion different things you can do there's you know if you're a gamer there's gaming boost stuff like that to help a game booster anyway scroll down here as well you can read this article on how to improve your wireless network performance which is another interesting article at least for me and maybe you're having problems with your Wi-Fi network maybe that's part of your problem uh, how to see your network adapter speed in Windows, the driver thing we just showed you, how to reset your network settings if you think you're there, a little more explanation on auto-tuning, which we discussed above, and how to update your router firmware. And if this could be helpful in the router section that we discussed earlier so that you can see sort of how these work, how to update your firmware, and it gives you a little kind of an overview if you haven't played with your router before and it's something that you want to do per what we discussed before. Woo! A long video for us. All right, guys, thanks as always for watching. We appreciate all the new likes and subscribes. See ya.